Hi everyone. This is a video that will teach you how to properly use a Joytech Ecom. Through our customer service support team, we have heard of a few issues regarding the misuse of the Ecom, which has caused some customers to experience a gurgling and flooding problem. First, we will start by showing you how to properly fill the e-juice into the Ecom. First, insert the nozzle into the hole marked fill and squeeze. The hole in the middle of the Ecom is the air outlet hole. Please do not fill e-juice inside this hole. After completing the filling of the e-juice, screw on the mouthpiece within one minute. The Ecom uses a vacuum system, which means every time you take a draw, the air pulls the e-juice into the atomizer head. If the mouthpiece is not screwed back onto the Ecom within one minute, the air pressure will push the e-juice into the atomizer head, causing it to flood and gurgle. Also, Joytex e-juice bottles come with a pointy nozzle which makes filling the Ecom a breeze. If your e-juice bottle does not have a pointy nozzle, it might make it harder to fill the Ecom. Also, if it takes more than a minute to fill the Ecom, the e-juice will also flood the atomizer head and cause it to gurgle. Secondly, the voltage setting on the Ecom is very important. Since the C2 atomizer head is set at 2.4 ohms, the voltage setting should be set at 3.8 or higher for a good vape. The Ecom is the only variable voltage device on the market that will not experience a dry burn at 4.8 volts. However, if the voltage is set lower than 3.7, the e-juice inside the atomizer head will not fully vaporize, which will flood the atomizer head. Third, if you hear a slight gurgling and see the battery indicator showing that the Ecom battery is very low, please charge the Ecom right away. With a low battery, it will be the same as setting the Ecom to a low voltage and will not vaporize all the e-juice inside the atomizer head. Fourth, to cultivate a good habit of vaping is very important. Click the power button before vaping and draw for at least three seconds to make sure the e-juice is vaporizing completely. Also, remember to refill the atomizer in a timely manner. When the e-juice level is below the window or when filling the e-juice too high in the tank, you may experience a burn taste. Sometimes, there is a very simple solution to the gurgling. Simply take a paper towel and place it at the end of the mouthpiece. Turn the Ecom upside down and shake out the excess e-juice stuck in the airway. Then, roll the paper towel into a small needle shape and push it inside the mouthpiece to clear out excess e-juice. Before taking a draw, hold the Ecom power button three times for two seconds each. This way, it will help burn off the excess e-juice inside the atomizer head. We hope this video helps you, and thanks again for watching.